Number one. In this video, we are going to discuss a very important word in Indian traditions, which is sannyasa. I will explain how this word is formed and why it means what it means. We'll start with what is called the vigraha vakya of the word, which is sannyasaha. The vigraha vakya is an equivalent statement in Sanskrit for a Sanskrit word or expression. And it accurately explains that word or expression. <clears throat> in the case of sannyasa, the vigraha vakya is sannyasanam sannyasa. I'll repeat, sannyasanam sannyasa. The act of properly abandoning something is sannyasa. This is how the vigraha vakya is translated. The word sannyasanam is in fact a synonym of sannyasa and this word has been used in the Bhagavad Gita. So we we'll look at where this word is used. It's used in verse 4 of chapter number 3 which we'll see in this translation by Satyanarayan Dasa. Uh, one of the best translations of the Bhagavad Gita into English and we go to the fourth verse of the third chapter. So what does the verse say? Na karmana manarambhan naishkarmyam purushoshnate na cha sanyasana deva siddhim samadhikachati sanyasanam the ablative form on the fifth vibhakti is sanyasana and that is being used here and as the translator says sanyasanat eva merely by giving up prescribed action. So, sanyasanam is a synonym of sanyasa. Now, what is this, uh, what's the root of this uh, word and what are the prefixes and what is the suffix and what, how it all, how it means the act of properly abandoning something. The word sanyasa comes from the root as, asukshepani. The root as means throwing, the act of throwing. This is the root from which we get the word astram for a weapon or in particular a missile weapon which is thrown. And this is the root from which we get the word ishwasa. Ishwasa is a bow. It's a bow using which an archer shoots arrows. So the root is as or asukshepani which means to throw. And the two prefixes are ni and sam. Sam followed by ni. When the prefix ni is added to the root as, the meaning changes a bit. The root as means to throw. The prefix ni in general, it has many meanings. In general, it has uh, the one of the prominent meanings is of nyag bhava or to bow down, to do something by bowing down or do something respectfully or to do something downwards. So us means to throw and ni us means to put something down respectfully. In other words, to abandon. There are other meanings of the root ni us also. Let's look at uh, the after dictionary. I don't have the English version in print. So we'll look at the Hindi version. And as you can see here, uh, this is the root us, we are here, and we are looking at ni us. It means upakrama karna, rakhna, niche phekna, to throw something downwards, as I mentioned. Uh, so it means to start something also, that's why we have the Rama Janma Bhumi Nyasa, where the word Nyasa also comes from, ni us. Nyasyate anena iti Nyasa that with which something is done or achieved or started is a nyasa. The word used for trust in Hindi is nyasa. And the second meaning uh, is uh, of ni as eko rakhna chhodna tyagna. So to abandon or to give up something is ni plus as. And the prefix, so, so with ni and as we get the word nyasanam nyasa, the act of leaving something, abandoning something, putting something down, throwing something down, 
leaving something respectfully is nyasa and the prefix sam means samyak or doing something in a proper way so samyak nyasa sanyasa the act of properly abandoning or leaving something is sanyasa we can also uh, have the full vigraha vakya as samyak rupena <coughs> nyak bhavena asanam sanyasa the act of abandoning or giving something up respectfully and properly is sanyasa so that's why sanyasa means uh, either the act of giving something or the fourth ashram if we look at uh, the vachaspatyam uh, a phenomenal sanskrit sanskrit dictionary it explains sanyasa as samyak tyaga samyak tyage so samyak proper tyaga abandoning is sanyasa and the other meaning it gives is the popular meaning which is the tadupyogi chaturthashrame the the fourth ashram in which this action is done or for which this action uh, the ashram which is upayogi or which is useful for this act of abandoning something properly is the sanyasa ashram now uh, more on abandoning what is to be abandoned yes uh, the traditional meaning is to to enter the fourth ashram to abandon one's worldly connections and all that yes but there are other meanings also in his commentary on the manusmriti uh medha tithi in his commentary on verse 32 of chapter 6 of the manusmriti medha tithi says ahankara mama kara tyaga eva sanyaso vakshate na shesha shastrartha tyaga so he says the act of abandoning i'll read the translation by ganga nadja renunciation or sanyasa is described as the surrendering of the notions of i and mine and not the abandoning of all that is enjoined by the scriptures similarly if you look at the third verse of the fifth chapter of the bhagavad gita so we'll now go to satyanarayan das's translation of the third verse of the fifth chapter uh what does it say the verse says gnyaya sanitya sanyasi yona dveshti na kaankshate nirdvandho hi mahabaho sukham bandhat pramuchyate so he who uh i'll read the translation the karma yogi who never hates nor desires anything should be understood as one established in renunciation so somebody who gives up hate and desires dvesh and kaanksha paricha is a sanyasi as per this is a nitya sanyasi as per this verse of the bhagavad gita so uh, that was sanyasa now how did uh, uh, another explanation of sanyasa is uh, that it is not the prefix sam but the word sat so sanyasa sanyasa like sat karma a good action is sat karma so a good about good act of abandoning is sanyasa 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 or sati paramatmani nyasa sanyasa abandoning something for sat or uh, surrendering something to the lord is sanyasa and this meaning is hinted to at in several verses of the bhagavad gita like mai sarvani karmani sanyasya adhyatma chetasa 30th verse of the third chapter and similarly mai sanyasya matpara mai sanyasya matpara uh, verse 6 chapter 12 and verse 57 chapter 18 now before we end this video i am going to tell you why sanyasanam sanyasa is the vigraha vakya of this word sanyasa so the reason is that we have the prefix sam prefixes sam and ni the root as and the suffix is ghan now this ghan suffix is uh, as we look up the ashtadhyayi of panini this suffix is ordained in the sense of bhava so this is the sutra 3318 of the ashtadhyayi bhave and the english meaning is the affix ghan comes after a root when mere action is denoted now that's the that's the affix in the word sanyasa 
and in the word sannyasanam the affix is lut and that is also ordained in the sense of uh, action by this by the rule lut cha which is 3318 the meaning is the affix lut is added to the root when the name of an action is expressed in the neuter gender that's why we have sannyasanam and we have sannyasah uh, so that was the explanation of the word sannyasa looking at its grammar looking at its, at its etymology looking at uh, the bhagavad gita looking at uh, the update dictionary and uh, looking at the commentary by medhadithi on the manuspriti i hope you enjoyed this video please uh, subscribe to my channel and please share the video please do comment and please provide your suggestions to improve these videos going forward namo vah